welcome ladies and gentlemen to a throwback thursday video the first part of a series that will span hopefully 15 years or so um, because the way we're going to do it is we're going to introduce a different fifa every week and obviously we're gonna stop at fifa 21 because that'll be the fifa before the most recent that we're on which is 22 and because the servers are closing for FIFA 16 uh, relatively soon, I figured now would be the best time to take a look back at some of the stuff that I've done in terms of keeping a team on FIFA and talk to you a little bit more about my past, I, I would suppose, uh, because FIFA 16 never got onto the YouTube channel obviously if you've watched any of our previous videos then you will know that FIFA 21 FIFA 22 and a little bit of FIFA 20 are basically the most uh, videos I've ever recorded for the YouTube channel and FIFA 16 never really got any of the spotlight you know I think uh, during this time I never had anything to record it with obviously Xbox had its uh, video recording system integrated into the user interface or whatever that it had at the time, which I kind of don't remember too much. Uh, but, you know, FIFA was very popular back in the day, and it was one of the things that got me into playing this game which was the the uh, content that came out during this time you know this was the first year that we had drafts and even though i'd never played too many drafts because i wanted to save my coins um, it was fun to see a lot of the youtube uh, youtube content creators go into drafts and try to make the best uh, rating that they could you know that was a lot of the uh, content that came out during that year uh, because it was the most it was the most newest thing that we had and it was the most interesting thing that we had uh, because back back here I don't think we ever had fut champs or any of that and we didn't have squad battles uh, we had no objectives during this game and you know it, it just felt very bare bones but we I guess we enjoyed the game mainly because of the players we got to play with and online uh, divisions was basically what we what we only had to to go around and uh, for me I was I was I was uh, very young for for this game and I wasn't too good at it I don't have many uh, fond memories of this game just because I never really uh, went to hardcore into the online game mode uh, into online divisions I should say I mean as you saw during the menu changes, I probably had, uh, I think it was Division 8, which was my best. Um, but it won't let me go in to see if I went any higher. So, you know, I could have gone higher and then dropped down divisions. But we'll take it as what the game allows us to see, which is Div 8. Which is not too great because a lot of the YouTube creators were basically at the high ends. They were in Div 1, Div 2, you know and you will take a lot of their advice in terms of the game the custom tactics and all that good stuff and the attacking ai defensive ai was a lot different back then and you know ea still had their their propaganda in terms of like oh they're they're coming up with new uh advances in ai and trying to make the game a little bit more realistic but uh it it doesn't it doesn't feel like they did a fantastic job i would say i mean it's very hard to describe it because the the gameplay i don't really remember it too much like i said this this game i very played low low amounts of games with this game i think the main thing i did on this fifa was career mode which is why i like player career mode a lot um i think i played player career mode for like three years straight before I, I uh, fully went into Ultimate Team, I think this was the year um, 
where I started to take it semi seriously, but it was a very casual thing for me, you know, cause I mean, this team isn't fantastic and it's nowhere near the teams that we have today. But you know, for me, this was good enough. Um, considering the fact that the right center back here has like 32 pace, I didn't really care much for uh, meta or anything. You know, I just wanted to play with uh, players that I would see on my television screen. Uh, maybe Iguain wasn't one of them, but you know, uh, he was one of the biggest pack bulls I had of the year. Um, and you know, that's that's probably the only thing I do remember from from back then. Uh, but most of these players are from Liga MX. This was the first league I ever watched the football. You know, it's it's nothing compared to European, but it was kind of it was my first love for football, and you know, being able to use them in Ultimate Team was kind of kind of fun, and uh, I wanted to take a look at some of the stuff that I had left over in this FIFA and what ultimately I want to do with a video like this is basically have a recording save it onto the internet um, and then maybe react to it a couple years down the line um, maybe when I'm much much older and look back at some of uh, some of the stuff I never got to do back then that I do now you know, because with FIFA in its current state, it's it, there's been a lot of things added, some things removed, um, and you know we get to we get to go every year and kind of go through a slow phase of the changingness, I guess, of the of the game. You know, you don't really think about how the game has changed too much over the years. You just think about like. How is the game different this year to what it was last year? And from then, and from then on, you you go and formulate your opinion. But like, if you really, really look back at the older FIFA's, you know, there there wasn't much to do in Ultimate Team, and that's I think one of the things that caused a huge spike in uh, the way EA was just able to make this game into like what it is today to where people will spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get the newest shiny card and back then you know you could do that but you know there wasn't really any point to it i guess you know it was just for it was just for content you know getting some pack openings and stuff like that and obviously in this game you had draft those two were basically the only thing um that was very exciting, I guess, to a lot of audiences because, you know, when uh, when the only thing EA bring out are promos, you know, that's the that's the only thing people will look for, you know, seeing if their favorite content creator has packed one of the latest cards and, you know, give us their their opinion on on what uh, on what the card feels like, because, you know, maybe maybe it's so expensive that it's out of reach for most people. And if you notice on the prices of most of these, uh, none of them, I think, ever touch above 50K. Uh, even this team of the season, which is only an 83 rated team of the season, but, you know, a team of the season nonetheless that I bought for like 28K. You know, you think about you think about uh, this year's FIFA during footies and how the price was... Uh, the prices of these team of the seasons are super down the drain and all that stuff and people people start to complain about them being too cheap and then not making no coins and stuff like that but you know at the end of the day the fifa that you're on right now will essentially look like this where you just don't touch it anymore you you have the cars that you bought you go about it in a way where as long as you're you're happy during the time you know it kind of doesn't matter how how you leave the game what matters is that you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it, you know that's good if you didn't you know find out why you didn't and figure it out if you want to keep going because fifa fifa ultimate team right now is kind of like the one thing that 
keeps everybody together and you know as much as people want to make content about pro clubs or career mode and all that stuff you know it doesn't it doesn't tie to everybody like like ultimate team does because ultimate team is the probably the only game mode that really goes along with uh real world football in terms of like promos and team of the weeks and stuff like that you know you don't get that with uh career mode career mode basically just branches off into its own thing pro clubs is probably the closest thing you'll get to uh to playing with your friends in terms of a competitive setting so to speak but you know obviously uh next year we're gonna get uh more co-op related things you know cross plays coming we're going to get a cross market i think i'm not entirely sure and uh yeah look at that the team of the season button that's crazy uh to look back at because every every fifa had his own meta and you know i i didn't i didn't really uh get into it too much i just i just remember that ronaldo was very dominant during these these fifas you know it was very it was very hard to to be a good player and not include cristiano ronaldo and uh here this this is a fuddies if you don't if you don't know what these cards are these are fuddies back when ea had made a kind of a promo team for them um and you could actually pack them, you could sell them, you can buy them. Obviously, there were different versions. Um, you know, I think I think during this time we had tournaments, online tournaments, instead of uh, the instead of the DKT that got you into weekend league. We had online tournaments where you could win a specific footies card. Um, but there was obviously some some other footies that were just released to the market. And I'm surprised we actually see one here um, all these years uh, into the future, I guess you could say. Um, and yeah, the the market here, um, I've already recorded some footage for the other FIFAs, but the market here is probably the, the liveliest, I would say, in terms of special cards. There's a lot of Team of the Weeks here compared to other gears. You know, I don't, I don't know how active the player base is on this fifa and you know it's kind of kind of interesting to see and we'll just take a quick look here at the chelsea players that are on the market now that we run a chelsea road to glory you know it would be nice to look back look at that 87 says fabregas and 89 hazard 86 courtois and uh yeah, this this was the year. If you can see the uh, record on the top left, you know I I did not play a lot of games. I did not play a ridiculous amount compared to other years, um, especially I think FIFA 18. You'll see my record um, for a lot of a lot of these videos because the record was always there uh, compared to now where it's hidden behind uh, a specific tab that you can go to. But you know. Look at that, Chucky Lozano, a, a 74 rare rare silver, just before he went to PSV. I think the year, the year after this, he was at PSV. Um, but uh, yeah, this is gonna be the end. If you see them top right there, uh, that's where most of the catalog stuff were. You know, you can uh, redeem certain. Uh, objects i guess you know there was balls there was kits stuff like that you can redeem those for the ea sports fc tokens or whatever and you could just quick sell the the balls and kits and you could get some some quick coins because you know back then we had to pay for for fitness we had to pay for um what else did we have to pay for fitness was a big thing that didn't get removed until later which you know I didn't mind because at the time I when I had this team I'm pretty sure I had a, a secondary team that was probably even worse than this just so I can like go back and forth between uh, a, a small team and a big team 
and that was the way I tried to reduce uh, pain for all the fitness um, which I don't know if it was a good decision I thought it was a good decision uh, especially with the fact that you get to play with twice as many players um, online compared to you know playing one specific team and not having to recharge them or swap them out for fitness and whatnot so you know everybody had their own their own way and i think i did the double just just so i could focus on saving up coins because most of the coins that that you would gain from this come from rivals or not rivals divisions that were both online and offline it was the only form of income i think you had besides obviously the coins after a match um but that's gonna be it ladies and gentlemen for the end of the video this has been a pretty long one but i just wanted to go over fifa 16 and this video will drop thursday you will be seeing this on thursday so that you know it is an actual throwback thursday and i'm hopefully going to be releasing one every single week up until fifa 21 and then we'll take a five-year break for this particular series just so i can look back you know every five years like how fifa has changed and whatnot and to see our, our different teams because as much as as much as now we're making a chelsea road to glory you know maybe later down the line i want to make two specific teams and have different kinds of stuff for different accounts and whatnot but uh yeah this is going to be the end of the video ladies and gentlemen hopefully you guys have enjoyed this throwback thursday and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.